Walker. In the heart of Chile's misty southern forests, where ferns and ancient trees grow taller than houses, lives a fox so rare that most people have never heard of it. This is the Darwin's fox, a mysterious little predator. This isn't just any fox, it's a living testament to evolutionary history named after the legendary Charles Darwin himself. He first encountered this fascinating creature during his voyage on the HMS Beagle in 1834 on the remote island of Chiloe. So what makes this fox so special? For starters, it's one of the smallest canids in the world, about the size of a domestic cat. Its sleek, dark fur, short legs, and bushy tail make it perfectly adapted to its dense forest home. But don't let its size fool you. Darwin's fox is a master of survival. It's an opportunistic omnivore, meaning it eats a little bit of everything, from juicy fruits and berries to insects, small mammals, and even the occasional bird. This fox knows how to find a meal. By hunting pests and spreading seeds, it quietly shapes and maintains the health of its forest home. Now, here's where it gets truly interesting. Darwin's fox lives in two incredibly small, isolated populations. One is on Chiloe Island, and the other is in a few national parks on mainland Chile, such as Nahuel Buta National Park. This isolation has led to some remarkable evolutionary adaptations. Unfortunately, this isolation also makes them incredibly vulnerable. Darwin's fox is classified as a critically endangered species. Scientists believe there are fewer than a thousand individuals left in the wild. Their biggest threats include habitat loss due to deforestation, attacks by domestic dogs, and diseases spread by other animals. Let's continue to be curious, continue to explore, and continue to protect the incredible wonders of our natural world. Thanks for joining us on this wild adventure.